Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Miss Keen, teacher of English and literature in Jamaica. If you are new to my channel, you are most welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and share with someone you think it might benefit. In today's video, we'll be looking at MLA referencing. Do stay tuned. MLA referencing. MLA stands for Modern Language Association. The Modern Language Association developed a style guide for academic writing. Specifically, it deals with ways to document a writer's sources of information and the format for the paper or report. MLA is suitable for literature, language, history, philosophy, the arts, and religion. Therefore, it is suggested that you use this format for your SBA. An MLA citation has two components, in-text citation and works cited. Every time you quote or paraphrase a source, you cite the author and the page number in parentheses. And this is what you will do when you're writing your reflections as well as your written report. At the end of your SVA, you give a full reference for every source you cited, alphabetized by the author's last name. Your works cited should appear on a separate page at the end of your SVA. Center the words works cited at the top of the page. Sources are cited using these core elements and should be in this order, followed by the punctuation marks shown here. Author, period, title of source, period, title of container, comma, other contributors, comma, version, comma, number, comma, publisher, comma, publication date, comma, and location, period. Here are some examples of how to format different sources.